Hey everybody, it's Beezer. Today we're going to be going over East Bound and Down by Jerry Reed. The song is in the key of G and the lead has three pieces to it. The first piece and the third piece are identical. So we're going to learn the first and second and then you can just apply that first piece on the third and you're good to go. So the, the lead uh, full speed goes like this. Okay, so that's the lead full speed. So you'll have the tablature to follow along there on the top of the screen or on the bottom of the screen, depending on how we end up uh, editing this. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to go real slow and I'm going to start on the A string on the fifth fret. Okay, so we're going to go over that lead piece by piece. We're going to uh, take the first piece of it and we're going to go very slowly each string, each fret. So on the A string, on the fifth fret, you're going to hit the fifth fret and then you're going to hit it again. And then that time you're going to hammer on to seven. That's five on uh, the D string. And then on the D string, bend seven to nine. And then bend seven to nine again, but then let it pull back down to seven. Five up to se seven to nine. And then on the A string from five to seven, five on the D string, and then seven to nine. And then again, seven to nine on the D string. And then five on the D to seven on the A. And then bend seven to nine, and then seven to five. So pull that off, and then bend seven to nine on the D string again, and then s pull off seven to five on the D string again, and then slide on your A string from five to seven, and then back to five. Right? So that piece right there went. Right? Now, when you get to that part, you're going to go to your G string on 7. So. Right? So what that is is 7 on your G, and then slide from 5 to 3 on your G, and then 5 on your D string. And then you're going to go five on your A string and then from three to one on your A string. And then on your E string, slide up to um, seven. And then in that on the five on your D string. Then from seven to nine on your D string. In that on the seven on your B string or on, on your um, G string, 
and then go to 9 on your G string to 10 on your B string. And then bend on your B string, number 10, uh, bend that up a full step, and then do it again. And then from the 10 on your, uh, or sorry, the 8 on your B string to 9 on your uh, G string. Okay, so the next thing you do is you take your B string on 10 and you bend it up to 12, back down to 10, and then slide 8 to 6, and then G7, uh, right? And then slide your G5 uh, up to 7, back to 5, to slide to 3. And back down to your D string on five. And then repeat that. So. All right, that's the first part. Let's do it again. That's the first piece. Let's go on to the second piece now. Full speed, the second piece goes. And that's the second piece. And then you just go back into the first piece, you repeat it, and then that's the entire lead. So to do this one slowly, it kind of gallops here on the uh, the D string on the second fret, fourth to the fifth, and then I'm reaching down to the G string on five and grabbing that real quick. So see that? So slowly. And those are all pull-offs. Pull-off from five to four, four to two, and then two to open. So you do that twice, right? And then two, five, and then two on your, on your G string, and then I bend it just a little bit. Then slide from three up to four on the G string three on the B string and then the E string open right so that is the B uh, the G string on two pulled off to open the two on the D string pulled off open back to the two and when you hit that uh, G on, or the D on two right there, be ready to go. So you do it again, right? So. Now when you get to this point, Use your, use your D string on four, down to two, B string four, or I'm sorry, the G string four to two, then five to four, and then si uh, six to seven, to eight, and then the E string to seven. So... So full speed it goes. Right? And then you're resolving that in the B. So that's the uh, that's the second part. So 
you go back over the first part at the end there, and then you're you're good to go. So again. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, let me know. If you uh, need printouts of the uh, um, of the tab, let me know. Uh, I can email those over to you where you can print those out, and we can go from there. So anyway, reach out and let me know what you uh, what you need. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.